Aliza tuli, alitufunza Umoja ni nguvu Utengano ni udhaifu Peke yangu siwezi Ebu ni saidiwe I know it's painful To accept that she is normal But it's normal Madam Liz truly She has done wonders She was always a shoulder to lean on She was also Talking and taking us As her kids If you knock at her door She always open She advised us to be heroes And heroines Personally I am celebrating Liz as a legend Shuta Wakila Wakati This plane ilikuwa Top notch kwake Madama ilikuwa stress doctor Madama nda ilikuwa And still she is a mentor Madama ilikuwa Source of happiness She was God chosen Unajua kwa nini Wengi wetu tulikuwa headbutt Yani vitu angumu But tukifika hapa Tunapada tutu metent All of a sudden we are mourning but the whole country is mourning enyewe tumepoteza uria if it is not for Liz many of us could be useless but because of her many of us we are useful personally before ni kujenives I was a fool but now look at me I'm full of brains just because of madam Liz Liz amefanya watu wengi wapate future. Liz amepanguza wazazi wengi machozi. Liz amefanya familia mingi zikuwe successful. Liz amefanya familia mingi zipate unga. Mimi nimekosa maneno ya kumwambia asante. If you follow Madam Liz when you make footsteps, you will not be lost. Last thing I can ask you Did you love Liz? Did you love Liz? Did we love Liz? Yes, we did. Madam Liz alikuwa sensitive ikikuja ni kwa character. Every day make sure you have a good character. Let me mention her character traits. She was loving, she was kind, she was caring, she was there for everyone. Say one word to her. Say one word to her. She was a teacher. She was a mother. She was loving. She was kind. She was I have no word to say to her. She was kwa mzuri kwa sisi wote. We we love you. you. But God has loved you more till we meet again ya mwisho naweza kumbuka kwa mam alitupostia hebu mark your bible at mark 11 verse 24 inasema whatever you ask for in a prayer believe that you have received mimi leo my prayer is ni graduate na milango zangu zifunguke akwachia hapo hao akasema may god answer all you have prayed for alafu akatuish have a wonderful sunday hizo ndizo maneno zake za mwisho kuna watu walipita hiyo post kuna watu wali blue tick kuna watu wali great tick lakini sai make sure you may lay you may like to i like what she have done to us Come on, let us be upstanding and sing this song one to once more time one more time to her just from your heart you can just start sing this song and just sing this song to her it's been a long way without you mama and i tell you all about it when i see you again can i hear your voices Without you a friend and I tell you all about it when I see you it's been a long way it's been a long way without you a friend and I tell you all about it when I see you one more time it's been a long way it's been a long without you mama without you mama Yeah.
us has been a long way, it's been a long way without you. And I tell you, Lord, and I tell you all about it when I see you. Sing again. scholarship beneficiary wale ambao wali benefit uh, from the scholarship tuarakishe tafadhali because of the interest of time uh, you have just one minute because of the interest of time Before you are the Lizzie Wanyoke beneficiaries. I just have one word to all of us that success, success is always sweet when you share that bread with someone else. Therefore, our mom paid our bills in hospitals. There are so many people that our mom touched. From the students who are about to drop out, from the students in secondary schools, from the churches, we have seen him, we have seen her pay bills to different hospitals like Kenyatta, Mama Lucy, several places. She has bought motorbikes for so many people. Yes. And therefore, I'll just read a tribute uh, about mom. As we gather in remembrance of a remarkable woman who touched our lives in immeasurable ways, we, the beneficiary of Madam Lizzie Wanyoki Foundation, come together to express our heartfelt gratitude to Madam Lizzie Wanyoki's dedication to education and our unwavering support that have paved the way for countless, countless dreams and flourish in tributes we share our stories of transformation and honor of a woman whose, found, whose foundation made our dedication, aspiration, businesses, lives to be a success. We are who we are today because of Madam Liz Wanyoike. Madam Lizzie Wanyoike was more than a benefactor. She was a beacon of hope for those of us who might not have seen a way forward in pursuing our education. He, her foundation became a lighthouse, guiding us through financial challenges and ensuring that education, the key to our future, remained within reach. Madam Rizzi believes in the transformative power of education was the driving force behind her foundation. Through her generosity, she not only provided financial assistance, but also empowered us to dream beyond our circumstances. Her support wasn't just about finding it, it was about instilling the confidence the, that education could break the chains of limitation. Dagitare Lizzie Wanyoike's foundation went beyond monetary assistance. It extended a compassionate hand that lifted us during moments of doubt. Her genuine interest in our academic and personal well-being
Her genuine interest in our academic and personal well-being created a support system that transcended financial aid. We were not just recipients. We were embraced as part of a larger family, and our foundation became a symbol of solidarity and encouragement. Today, as beneficiaries of Madam Lizzie Wanyoike's foundation, we stand as living testimonies to the impact of her philanthropy. From classroom to careers, her investment in our education has borne fruits, enabling us to pursue our passion, contribute to society, and strive for a brighter future. In expressing our gratitude, words often feel inadequate to capture the anonymity of the impact Madam Lizzie had on our lives. Her foundation wasn't just funding education. It was inventing in human potential, resilience, and the belief that every student, regardless of her financial constraints, deserved the chance 